If you notice there's been a lot of homestead YouTube channels posting videos lately about the chicken crisis, the feed crisis, the egg crisis, I would definitely pay attention to that and don't look at it ever as a scare tactic. They're not out trying to scare you. I, I am so glad that there are people out there in the homestead community that's sharing this with everybody. And they're getting some hate from it, but they're getting also a lot of love too, because people understand. And we, as homesteaders, we know how important food in our livestock is and then our feed and where it comes from. We've all been hearing about the rumors and seeing the headlines about the culling of over 50 million chickens and hearing about tainted feed coming from Tractor Supply and Purina and Dumar Feed. With all that going on, with fuel prices up, it's making the price of eggs skyrocket as well. On top of all that, we are hearing that the eggs can cause sickness and illness also. Why would all this sickness be coming? Okay. If, if chickens are getting sick and eggs are getting bad for you, they never were until now. But why, why now is everything getting bad? Getting, why are they calling our chicken? Why are our chickens getting diseases? Why are our eggs getting bad? We recently come across a couple things in the world's most famous history book that will give us a lot of answers to these questions. We all know that the main cause of health decline in the world today is nutrition, what we eat. Well, that goes for your chickens too. If your chickens aren't eaten properly or naturally, they're not naturally gonna be able to fight off disease. So if you're feeding your chickens unnatural feed, you'll have to unnaturally fight off their disease for them. Just like you see in us as humans today, with all the cancer and disease that we fight with unnatural drugs all the time, our food is mostly all unnatural food modified in some way. So you're probably wondering what unnatural food I'm talking about when it comes to your chickens. Well, that's GMOs, genetically modified organisms. That's the type of feed that we're getting these days. That's very unnatural. So what did we find in the world's oldest, best history book known as the Bible? Yes, the Bible. I'm no Bible thumper, I'm no preacher, but the Bible is history that goes all the way back to the beginning. If you look at Leviticus 19.19, 19, it says, thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed which I find very, very interesting considering the minute we started tampering with a seed, the minute man started tampering with a seed, you can see good health, tampering with seed, starts coming, health just started rapidly declining. And that's why the use of GMOs has been completely banned and or restricted due to the damaging effects on one's health in over 30 different countries, not our country, 30 different countries, including Japan, Australia, and all of the nations in the European Union. Isn't that wild? What's real wild is it seems like someone way back in the beginning of time actually knew that we were gonna tamper with a seed, so they wrote that in there. And it was, it was a warning, don't tamper with it. It's perfect the way it is, you tamper with it, look what happens, and here we are. So what all this boils down to, if you're feeding your chickens modified feed, they will be more susceptible to disease, which could possibly transport to the egg. And if you yourself are eating unnatural modified food, you're more susceptible to disease as well, which would make you more susceptible to contracting the disease from that egg. Does that make sense? A simple solution to all these problems, just take care of your chicken. Always feed them all natural food. By doing that, they'll always take care of you. For a family of six, we still, we got 40 some hens in here. We probably got 50 hens, but 40 that are able to lay. And they still take care of us. We get between nine to 15 eggs a day still. And they're coming up now that the daylight, we're getting more daylight. So they still take care of us because we take care of them. And if you look at the good old history book, Luke 11, 12 through 13, it tells you that the egg is a good gift. Let's not destroy a good gift. So we used to purchase feed from Tractor Supply and feed all that feed as well to our chickens when we first got them until 
we started really doing this research, learning more about modified food and health. We actually sourced a local Amish that sells non-GMO feed. So we've been buying, and it's actually cheaper than what we can get at Tractor Supply. So we've been using their feed. I feel a lot better about it. And supporting your local homesteaders is always great. Supporting your local farms. You just look, you go start asking around, you can find a better deal on feed for actually good feed somewhere else. We built this beautiful mobile chicken coop. So in the warmer months during the spring, summer, and fall, we're able to move them. We move them every single day on fresh grass. We're able to eat bugs, grass, dig through everything, get all natural stuff. Really filling them up with um, great nutrition benefits, great nutrients, and everything. Having them sit here in the winter time is great for us. It's a very good bonus because we know we're feeding them good food, all natural food. And we feed them our food scraps because we eat organic as well. But seems we're feeding them all natural food. They're giving us great compost for our garden that we want to grow natural stuff in. So we don't need to go out and get synthetic fertilizer and all that stuff because we have it all right here. They take care of us, we take care of them. They're not going nowhere. Our chickens will not become extinct and neither will our eggs. The question is, will yours? Thanks for watching. Nine to five to life. Take care.